you can get the top n values in a range or array using the large function. This is the syntax. It compares all the numeric values in a range supplied for the first argument and returns the largest value based on the position specified in the second argument, k. For example, to get the top n scores, type n positions in separate cells. These values are passed as k values. To get top 3, enter 1, 2 and 3 in D2, D3 and D4. Enter this formula in E2. Use absolute reference for array argument and relative reference for k argument. Copy the formula down. You will get the top 3 scores. To find the bottom n values, use the small function. This is the syntax. Small function returns the kth smallest value. Type the numbers 1, 2 and 3 in D8, D9 and D10. Enter this formula in E8. Pass the value in D8 as k value. The formula returns the lowest score. Copy the formula down. The formula returns the second and third lowest scores. Sometimes entering all the k values becomes cumbersome. We can automatically generate the k values. Instead of typing the values, you can use the rows function with an expanding range reference to generate the k values automatically. Use this generic formula. The rows function with the expanding range reference like rows a dollar two colon a two generates the k values automatically. The rows function returns the number of rows in a range or array. For example, to find top n values in B2 to B13, enter this formula in G2 and then drag it down to as many cells as needed. To get the top 3 scores, copy the formula to 3 cells. In G2, this function returns 1 for k value. The large function returns the highest score. When copied to the below cells, the range reference expands by one row, causing the k argument to increment by 1. In G3, the reference changes to a$2 colon a3. The rows function counts the number of rows in a$2 colon a3 and returns 2 for k. The large function returns the second highest score and so on. You can use any column and any row for the expanding large reference, say b$1 colon b1 or l$3 colon l3. To get top 5 scores, copy the formula to 5 cells and for top 10 scores, copy to 10 cells. To find the bottom n values in a range or array, you can use the small function. This is the generic formula. To find bottom n values, use this formula. Copy the formula down to as many cells as you want to get the values. To get top 5, drag it to 5 cells and so on. Now let's look at how to find the top and bottom n values if the data is organized horizontally in rows. These are the generic formulas to calculate highest and lowest values. The formula's logic is same as the previous formulas. To get the k values, use the column function instead of the row function. The table lists 5 test scores for the students. To find the top 3 scores for each student, use this formula. Use absolute column reference for the values range so that when the formulas are copied down, the rows change but not the columns. The columns function counts the number of columns in a range. In B10, the function returns 1 which is the k value. The large function returns the highest score for Jack. When copied to the right cells, the range reference expands by one column causing the k argument to increment by one. Copy the formulas to the right. In C10, the reference changes to $a1 colon B1. The columns function counts the number of columns in $a1 colon B1 and returns 2 for k. Large function returns the second highest score for Jack. To get the top three scores for other students, copy the formulas down. To get the bottom three scores, use the small function with the same logic to get the k values. Enter this formula in E10. Copy the formula to the right to get the bottom three scores for Jack. 
copy the formulas down to get the bottom three for other students. Sometimes you may need to calculate the sum and average of the top or bottom n values. When an array constant is passed as the k argument to large and small functions, they return the results as an array. For example, if an array constant 1, 2, 3 is passed as the k argument to the large function, it returns the first, second and third largest values in an array. For example, this formula returns top three scores for Jack. The small function also returns an array if an array constant is passed. Use this formula to return bottom five scores. We can use this concept to return the sum or average of the top or bottom n values. To get the sum or average of the top n values, use these generic formulas. To get the sum of top three scores, use this formula. Pass the array returned by the large function to the sum function. Use absolute row reference as we don't want the rows to change when copied to the right. To calculate the average, pass the array returned by the large function to the average function. To get the sum or average of the bottom three, use the same logic and small function. Let's look at one or more example. We want to calculate the average of the highest and least score for a student. If the range contains n values, passing 1 as k to the large function gives the largest value and passing n gives the smallest value. So to get the highest and least scores, use this formula. Since the range contains 5 values, use the array constant 1, 5. Pass that values to the average function to get the average. You can also use the small function. The only difference is small function returns an array with the least value as first element. When passed to the average function, it returns the same result. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.